October 26th. It's CFC in El Paso. We're at Legion Iron SFS Employees Business here. We got Santi Gonzalez next to us. Yes, They're gonna sir. be taking on David Gutierrez coming up. How you doing, sir? How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm ready to get in there, ready to show up. It's been a couple months off, a couple months to get in here, sharpen the tools, gain some new skills. What have you been focusing on? So I've been wrestling a lot. A uh, big hole in my game was that wrestling, it's not no more. I'm ready to show it all, ready to show it off, ready to beat someone's ass, you know? You've had big knockout wins, but what does it take to want to get better at wrestling? Because striking the knockouts, that's the fun part. Uh, I want to be able to beat everybody. I don't want to be the person that just fights strikers. I don't want a promotion to depend on me just getting a striker. You can give me a wrestler, striker, anybody, and they'll go out either way. Now, working on that wrestling, but is that something that's even going to be applicable for this fight? Looked at your opponent and looks like a brawler. He comes in, big punches, yes, hooks, overhands. Yes, sir. I think he's going to want to come brawl. I think it's a bar fight, and I'm going to... Line his ass up, probably first round, put him out pretty quick. So is this a fight where you feel like you get to bring out your technical side almost? Yes, sir. So what does that look like? So I like a little bit of everything. I like to mix it up. I go high, low, throw some head kicks in there, keep my distance. I know he's going to be a lot shorter than I am. I feel pretty long for my size already. Someone is going to give him a lot of issues just dealing with the length. How do you feel that's going to be an obstacle for you, or do you think that's just going to be easy keeping him at bay? I think I'll do pretty well at it, keeping him. I'm real good at distance management, and I'm good at keeping my opponent where I want them, keeping them at my distance, and I, I feel I'll do the same thing. You had the loss, and then how motivating? What is the feelings? Because you have a big knockout win, and then you suffer that loss. What are the feelings coming off of that fight? It sucks, man. I'm super competitive. I hate to lose. I don't. I have zero excuse. I felt good going in. All I had to do is look at myself in the mirror and what can I do better? How can I better myself and come, come out stronger? We've been talking about this. It's been a maturation for you for the last couple of years where you didn't come into this with a competitive, real athletic background. We're starting to lose those excuses. You've been in the gym <laughs> long enough. We're starting to see the, the physique, the toning. How do you feel now? Because you've never been an athlete, never been competitive like this, being in this shape. I feel dangerous. I feel like, I, I don't think I've ever felt like this before, strength-wise, cardio-wise. I feel like I could fight for days. We, we would fight all night if that's how it went. Uh, I feel strong, stronger than I've ever felt. I feel like I'm hitting hard, I'm cracking pads, looking dangerous. What should the people in El Paso be expecting? Oh, that finish, like always. I'm coming for the knockout. I want the finish of the night. Look forward to seeing you guys in El Paso, October 26th, CFC.